one at a time. You'll have to leave the room and come back in. Right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, I so, hear, um, I our topic her. is, what is it? How to get your spouse on board. How to get, yo, first of all, I wanted to start off by saying, um, I, before I do any of these groups, I always watch a bunch of videos to see if I'm on the right track. And, um, just want to say, if you if your spouse is not on board with this whole beach body and coaching thing, you are totally normal. <laughs> like you're right there with everybody else. Like, and the the more I was thinking about it, I was like, hey, I totally get that, right? Um, because it, when I first started this back in November 2014. I didn't know what I was getting into and I joined this challenge group. But at that time I was like, I know, I knew I desperately wanted to lose some weight. But, um, and so I was in that place. I'm like, I really, I'm going to lose weight and it's going to happen. I got this T25 workout. I came across Brian's um, message board thread and I jumped in the group and all of a sudden I'm in this group and Carrie was in there and she's commenting on my stuff. And I was like, wow, this is like cool people in here. It's um, a really positive environment. Yes, girl, you're cool. And it, you know, like Brian was so great. And I'm like, wow, this is really neat. And then here I am, I start losing weight too. I was like, holy crap. I actually like went and worked out and I'm doing it consistently and I'm starting to eat healthier. And I'm actually losing weight because, you know, I've been doing that whole, oh, I go to the gym here and there and I lose a few pounds, but then I can gain back twice as much. So I'm finally getting results. And it was just like this physical transformation is happening, but there's also this mental transformation that's happening where I'm, um, you know, surrounded by people that make me feel good about myself. And, and so then I've got my, husband here who's kind of watching this but he's he's not in the group so um so I, I like I'm gonna start drinking Chicology and Brian's like well you can get a discount if you become a coach and I'm like sign me up but I don't like that coach word <laughs> you know like you can you can keep that but you know as time went on I was like hey I I think I could coach I mean why not try to, you know, make a little bit of money? There's a financial benefit. And the more I learned about the company and the integrity of the company, I was like, wow, you know, this is, um, a, you know, not only do their products work, they're great, but they have this whole, when you become a coach, as you guys know, it opens up this whole other world where you're, you're working on your personal development. You're trying to get healthier physically and mentally and you're surrounding yourself in a positive environment. And then there's this opportunity to make money too. Well, then we've got, you know, this guy over here in the dark, right? He isn't experiencing all those things I'm experiencing, right? Your spouse is not going through those same, they're watching, but it's not, they're not feeling the same emotions. They're not going through the same transformation that you're going through. So they're kind of an outsider. And um, that can lead to some tension <laughs> for some people. And um, when you say, I want to become a coach, maybe your spouse at the onset said, um, what is this pyramid scam you want to get into? <laughs> and I know we've all heard that. And, and so it may just be a matter of, sit down and talk to them and kind of explain if you can understand the cycle cycling and personal volume and all that stuff maybe you can explain it to them I, I still don't quite get it but you know, like, <laughs> you know the rest of you are really smart you'll be able to explain that to your spouse and they you know give them some understanding of of that and then um I have a few things I want to make sure I cover here so um but um Jill I'll, I mean or Louie couldn't they also feel like jealous of you spending all your time like on the computer and working out instead of with them and going out and drinking beer and eating pizza like you used to and now you have these other friends 
Well, we didn't. We haven't drank beer in in many years, and pizza. It's only when we're sneaking the slices in from the food. We've got at least that better. But no, back when she started, it was like, okay, yeah, all right, that's fine. Oh, you got your call. Yeah, all right, cool. And I would like look in. Okay. Fine. So, so okay. When I first started, though, it was football season because it was in November. Oh yeah. Yeah. And so. <laughs> So I think he was like secretly glad that I had this group because I wasn't like hounding him like, gosh, are you on your fantasy football again? Oh my gosh, are you watching this football again? So he was right. like, yeah, yeah, go do your beach body thing. That's great. Right, right. go work out. Yeah, yeah go, go do a workout or Good something. <laughs> so I honestly, I think that's how it started. But then, you know, football season ends, right? Mm -hmm. so, she's got a better memory than me <laughs> <laughs> always always and, and honestly with louis he was always pretty supportive so for you know he's always kind of been like yeah you know whatever you seem happy that's good but as far as um joining in on the workouts and drinking shakeology he was like oh i don't need that i know how to work out <laughs> i I would like give him the Shakeology on the weekends and he was like, Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. And then he would never drink it during the week because I wasn't there to make it for him. And then finally it got to the point, like on the weekend, he was like, um, did you make me one of those Shakeologies? <laughs> and then that, that's when it was kind of cool for me because I, I bartended for years. And so I'd see all these flavors and I'm like, Oh, I could play around with this. So I'm like, yeah, you know, mixing and, <laughs> Grinding, grinding now. I'm like, it's not bad. Yeah. And, um, I kept going from there. So, but yeah. the thing with, um, I think with a lot of spouses, you know, they're they're seeing it from the outside, but you need to try and invite them as much as you can. Little hints here, little hints there. Like, hey, why don't you come? You know, like Louis was. We were talking about this earlier. He said that I would talk about like Brian and. Oh my gosh, you got to meet this guy, Pablo. He's lost 70 pounds and he's making, you know, this great transformation. And, you know, I, I was mostly mentioning the guys to him because I thought he could relate to that more than, you know, just you women doing your women's stuff. But, you know. <laughs> and even, even then I was still like, okay, that's cool. Yeah, good. Yeah, all right. That's good. That's good. You know. And then um, I do remember, though, as I see his face up there, I came in and I peek. I'm like, who is this Brian guy? I'm like... So yeah. then later on, be so that's the guy that lost the hundred pounds and he was, he's not doing that anymore. Oh, cool. So kind of you know baited me in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I did. I was like, <laughs> reel them in. And um, from one thing I, I was from other um, some of the videos I was watching, a lot of the people that were really kind of anti beach body what. What was a turning point for them was, you know, not only seeing their spouses be happy, but then getting invited to things like Super Saturday and Summit and actually like seeing that the company is legit and that it's not a scam and that seeing the passion of like Carl and Michael and, uh, you know, Jeff and everybody when they're speaking and then all of the um, coaches coming on and talking and like going, wow. And um, I was listening to this one call and this guy says, so um, we got to go on a cruise and I think my office took us to Buffalo Wild Wings once. <laughs> you know, he's like, Beachbody treats their, their coaches and their employees really well. Um, my office isn't doing that. <laughs> so Another thing that for me that kind of opened my eyes a little bit um, was okay the kids are asleep and I'm channel surfing I'm like oh that's that body beast thing and I'm like oh yeah yeah I've seen that's that. That's the one Jill keeps saying I should yeah, do. Yeah I should try that. So that I'm like okay and I wasn't on the, uh, the pyramid scam thing whatever but I'm like okay it's kind of legit so I would you know I'm up late at 12 something in the morning I'm like huh okay you know I'll try that which eventually she well, and then, you know, for Louie, I think he really got hooked once he started doing Body Beasts and he got into the group. But your spouse doesn't have to work out. They don't have to be in the groups to be involved and to um, 
be a part of your business. They can do things to help you in the background. Like um, maybe, you know, you're taking videos or photos or whatever, or um, they're, one thing Louie does, sometimes I'm like, I've got this group, I've got to start, I just need, you know, like an hour with no interruptions. And he'll be like, mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to take the kids and we're going to go. And that's sort of their time to go have fun and do just like one-on-one -on -one time with the kids. And that's a huge help to for me and my, you know, and what I have to do. And that's the did you tell the sport. Him, did you tell him I ripped the whole garden out yesterday while you worked? Yeah. <laughs> I saw uh, the pictures yeah. on Facebook. Yeah. But little things like that. No, seriously, little things like that. You know, you, I, I learned in time that, you know, I'm going to help out. I know it's not my gig here i'm not the computer savvy guy whatever so i give her her space and her quiet time and whatnot so. but i think um i think the main thing is um being patient with your spouse and um realizing that you know they're not where you're at and they may get to that place at some point but it's going to be on in their time, in their way, and they may never want to take this business to the level you do, and that's totally fine. That's totally fine, but you guys have to talk and you have to communicate with one another and um, just, you know, also um, maybe sit down together and set up a schedule where you say, this is the time I'm gonna work on my business, and so I need this time in, uninterrupted. And then this is the time is family time or um, this is our date night. And that's an appointment, just like your workout's an appointment you don't miss, your date night's an appointment you don't miss. You need to work on that. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, yeah. <laughs> and, but it's, it's important to, um, you know, let your, spouse know even though i have this other thing going on you're still really important to me and this this is how and be patient with them i think but i don't know i i wouldn't mind um opening it up to discuss if you guys want to you know talk about i think it would be good like for everybody to kind of bounce off are you is your spouse on board are they not how are you navigating it or what are your worries or yeah for me um it was really getting amanda to events because she doesn't work out right so um yeah she'll drink shakeology sometimes but um once i got her to events like summit and stuff like that you know the trips the success club trips and stuff and where she got to meet all of you guys and like the spouses and stuff like that. And she just loves people, you know? So, yeah. you know, she loves to get to know people, you know, and that, and, and then she loved to help me out like by creating graphics and stuff because she loves to go through your pictures and stalk you and create the graphics, you know, <laughs> um, find out what you're doing, you know? And that's what she loves. So, you know, getting like what you were saying, getting people to events, that'll really help out, you know, because then you get to meet these people that your spouse is spending all these time, the time with. And know well, you know that. what though, Greg, it's fun, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It's fun. It's fun. And, and yeah. once you see that, once I saw that, I was like, Hey, this is, this is pretty cool. This is fun. And that's what, what I think a lot of it is in it. It helps you continue to like, oh, you know, for me, look into it a little bit more, or whatever, you know, and then, then, yeah, just, it just, anyways, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, you guys know Jessica Short. Some of you guys know Jessica Short, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, she quit this week because <clears throat> she was never able to get her, her husband on board. And she was like a fantastic coach, you know? But I think she quit. Yeah, she just quit. But she and I asked her why, you know, what what did it for her? And um, she was never able to get her spouse on board. And she said it came down to last year when they did their taxes or whenever, right? Um, and he saw that she didn't make any money. And to him, like her spending money on psychology 
was just a loss. It was a business loss, you know? But that's not what it was to her, right? Psychology was so much more than a business expense, right? It was something that she wanted to do regardless, right? And she wanted right. to do workouts regardless, and she loved being part of the team. But to him, it was just a business, you know? And when he saw that she lost $1,000 and didn't make, you know, or whatever, came out to a $1,000 loss, that was like it for him, you know? So, so that's why she, you know, dropped out and is quitting, you know? So you, you have to get your spouse to understand that for you, it's not just a business, you know? Even if you never make any money, you still love to do this, just like they love to be in fantasy football or, or whatever, you know? <laughs> Hey, I won money last year. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's only 50 bucks, but it's something. You know? Well, I think everybody has their hobbies and their things that they spend money on. And so, you know, you don't want to get in a fight with your spouse going, well, you just spent X amount of money on that gun for going out hunting and I'm going to spend this on shopping, you know, whatever. You don't necessarily want to get in a fight over that, but there could be little ways to communicate and say, hey, this is, you know, help, try to help them understand why you love it. Yeah. And, you know, I love what you said about Amanda because she's not involved in the company or the groups or the Facebook the way you are, but she's totally involved. Like, we, you know, she's like the mother of the group, totally. you know, <laughs> like totally. everybody loves Amanda and she's, you know, she's so awesome. yeah. like as soon as you meet her, you get the best hug from her and she's just so great. So it's like, it doesn't matter that she doesn't work out. That's okay. And as long as you guys are okay, you're not like demanding that she works out. That's all right. You know, but it works. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in the same boat, like kind of with Greg, with, with my wife. Um, she, it, it didn't take too long before Andrea was kind of on board with, you know, what I was doing, um, because she knew it, at that point it was it was helping me with all of my issues, you know, staying sober. She knew that it was this was something that was helping me do that. So for her, it was. I don't care how much time you're spending with those other people. I don't care, you know, how much time, how much energy you're putting in. You need to do it. You, in order for you know you to be healthy, you need to continue doing this. So for me, the support in that regard was always there. Um, but eventually, um, as the business took off and I got busier, and, and you know, I, her and I talked about it, you know would you mind helping me with some things? And of course, her reply was, well, I don't know how to do any of this stuff. I don't know, don't worry, I'll show you. I'll show, I'm not gonna give you, I don't know how to talk to people, or you don't have to, you know, I'll handle that. But there's, all the, there's these little things that, that I can give you that, you know, that you like sending emails, you know, doing, taking care of my follow-up list and, and statuses and things like that and doing some inviting for me, you know, all, all like these things. So she, then she got on board with that and I showed her how to do that, you know, and for her, it was, um, uh, you know, more, you know, it was work for her. So, so she, she treat, treats it like a job, you know, so, and she does it and she's great at it. And I could not do this you know, without her. Everything that she does for me is just amazing. Um, so it's, it's, once again, it's that communication. It's making sure like for me, like I said, that your spouse knows why you're doing this and why it is so important that you do do this. Um, that's the first thing. Uh, and then the second thing, if you want getting them involved with doing, and I know it was like that with, with, with Louie, it was, it was a slow process, right, Louie? Yeah. yeah. Jump right in. Um, yeah, oh. Like a year. <laughs> yeah. But what was funny was, was when Louie did jump in, he jumped in. <laughs> Um, I don't like to half-ass anything, okay? <laughs> if I'm going for it, I'm going to do it, you know, as best yeah. I can. I mean, why, like, you know, I, immediately, you need like a coach. Time, Brian, because I just, I didn't have the time, and that's what it was like, if yeah. I can't be 100% into it, you know, I, I still, like, even now, I'm, like, trying to 
do as much as I can. And it's hard because for everybody else who doesn't know, I am in sales and I do have my own business on top of trying to do everything else, you know, but mm-hmm. like I said, I'm, I'm not going to just do this much. I need to do that much, you know, so. But you're but more did. the fitness side, right, Louie, as opposed to the business side? Correct. The, that and then, um, you know, I've got a lot of friends here in Colorado that Jill's never met, but now some of the friends of friends are becoming part of her groups and stuff like that. And so, you know, I'll still go on Facebook and I'm not on the business side, but I'll post a workout every once in a while and put, Hey, I got, I'm going to have a burrito. So I'm going to work out you know, because I want this burrito really bad. You know, right. my friends, I've got a lot of friends that are, you know, they know me since I was in my party days. Oh, you're working out now. Oh, tough guy. Eh, you know, whatever. <laughs> but you know what? It just because I don't do what I used to do doesn't mean I've changed. I'm still the the fun, I hope, crazy guy that, that you know, life's short. I want to have fun. And I'm going to just do my best to show, hey, I'm, I'm human. And I, I'm just going to do what I do. And I think it does get the attention of some other people like, wow, you know, look at his arms. You know, his arms look good, you know. And he doesn't have man boobs. Oh, my gosh. You know. <laughs> You know, hey, what happened to that big beer belly he used to have? No, that's gone. That's gone. You know, so anyway. Am I excused? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm hanging. So, how about Carrie? I want to hear about Carrie's asleep. Nate. <laughs> Getting there. Huh? Talk about Nate. Speaking of great spouses, how is Nate? Nate is well. There you go. (laughs) He is well. Working on his master's program like a good little boy. (laughs) (laughs) Oh boy. Stressing about the house. Yeah. So, um, let's see. Yeah, I think he's kind of getting a little bit more on board after some this year. Um, you know, I mean, he's never had a problem with the workouts and in the nutrition and, you know, looking at some of the food, like what the heck are you doing? <laughs> but so he's, he's never had a problem with, with me trying to better myself. And of course, you know, looking better. So, but then when, you know, when it comes to, well, like the whole tax thing, he's like, okay, you broke even, so that's good. Um, and then he looks at the golf habit, you know, that he's got. And but yeah, like you said, we all have our things that we like to do and, and you know, that helps. But and for me now, it's just more of the, you know, trying to pour more time and money into it and trying to make that schedule, balance that schedule sitting down and talking that's that's the biggest thing and and uh I mean there's really no reason I mean I guess we are more busy unfortunately because the kids are they're older so you would think you wouldn't be quite as busy but yeah you're running all over the place so to find those little pockets to to sit and actually concentrate that's tough to do but then again for years, he was a football coach, so he wasn't getting home until nine o'clock at night. So I did everything. So as things kind of slacked off, I still did everything. I feel guilty if I don't do everything. So I can't get out of that. That's that's the biggest thing is I need to just say, hey, can you take her to practice? That would give me forty minutes easily, you know. Even one of three nights a week, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but after some, I mean, I think he had a a pretty good uh, time. I mean, it would be better if he didn't have the, you know, the master's program to work on, but running around with Louie and and going to the closing ceremonies, I mean, yeah, he thought that was pretty cool. No, he he was a fun guy. It was was a pleasure meeting him. I look at that picture of him and I under that on it, and it's like, (laughs) It's meant to be. That's awesome. Um, yeah. 
Who's next? Are we, are we going down the line? Putting everybody on the spot? I like to do that, you know. Or <laughs> <laughs> ask <laughs> control. <laughs> Well, All right, Hilda, are you next? Are somebody else going next? Samara, you're going? Yeah, I mean, Stuart's not my husband, but um, be two years in November, but in the beginning. Close enough. <laughs> exactly. In the beginning, I mean, he's always been supportive of whatever I wanted to do, but he was a little skeptical. Um, and then when we did the, the UK, that event, and people could be added to the Facebook page. Um, that changed everything. Um, just reading yeah. everybody's story. Yeah, that totally. I mean, he's always was supporting me, but it, I really, it really shifted for him to have those facts, like the facts that you talked about, about with the business and listening to people's stories. Um, that really, really transformed how he thought of it. Um, and then he signed up to be the coach. Um, and even though he's not working the business per se, but... Um, just having him understand the business that helped mm -hmm. him understand the business and what it is, um, that really, 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 really made a big, very big difference. And the workouts and all that stuff, we talked about it, but today he started with his Shakeology. Today he started Shift Shop. Nice. Yeah, nice. I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> I'm so excited and, uh, with the meal plan. So um, it's very exciting. So over time, you know, just keeping the excitement and, and those that group was so great just having the facts and people's individual stories and those great facts was yeah, thank you it was awesome nice cool <laughs> okay hilda uh let me unmute um, is your mic working yet good luck i'm here can yeah. you hear me yeah Okay, well, um, I cannot add any husband because I'm just getting divorced, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so nothing to worry about there, huh? <laughs> yeah, I have one, one of kind, maybe that's one kind of the problems I... I I wanted to think is I don't need a man to do the stuff. So yeah, they help for a couple of things, but I have to be learning different things that I, I have to get it done. So I don't wait or I'm not like the, oh, poor woman, I cannot do this because I don't have the strength. So even that's why I do beachbody.com, even for the job I'm doing right now. Uh, that's one of the things I start to telling them yeah, because they cannot carry anything. I say, boys, you start training and do, you know, workouts. And when I'm doing it, uh, maybe you're going to have a strain to be able to do that. And don't wait for the tall one. This is going to help you to, get, you know, carry anything. So, see, no, seriously, make your last work. year, I was so excited. We had to move boxes, and we had moved them the year before for this potluck thing we were doing at work. And... I was like lifting them up like no problem, and the guys were like, "Oh, do you want me?" Oh, you're <laughs> okay. yeah, what are you doing? Like, yeah. like, this is so cool. <laughs> I don't need your help. Yeah, especially because they're all they're young. Yeah. So when somebody with more age than you than them and curry and doing all this stuff and had like a more energy and so like, what she's doing? <laughs> so it's pretty cool. It is nice. Okay, hey, uh, Jennifer? That's hey. my mom in the back. <laughs> so for me, I've had like kind of an up and down experience, I guess, with my husband. We both started doing P90X2 together like a year and a half ago. And we really loved it. We got great results. Um, we did some other programs after that. He's now doing CrossFit, so he's not doing beach body stuff. Um, but when I started coaching, I think one of the things that maybe if I could give any advice would be to make sure to really communicate with your partner why you're doing it and what's going on. Because I didn't realize until about a month in 
when my husband kind of had a meltdown one day that he thought, where he was worried that I was coaching because I didn't think he was making enough money. Oh. And he, um, he thought that I felt like I had to do it because I had to bring in more money and that, you know, he wasn't being enough of a provider. So that's not a thought that was in my head for even one second. And I was really taken aback when he said that, but I also had never really communicated how important it was to me or the things that I got out of it. So he just was left to draw his own conclusions. Um, you know, we've since worked through that. I think that sometimes just because that's kind of a touchy area for him. I think he probably sometimes still worries about that, but he definitely knows now that I do it because I like it, because I enjoy it, and because um, it just, it means a lot to me. I don't have maybe as dramatic a story as Brian, but I used to party a lot. I was a big Burning Man person, drugs, partying, whatever. And um, doing the groups and doing the workouts and having this kind of, um, community gives me something more positive to focus on that's fun and um, and it gives me a reason to maybe make different choices than I would have in the past that's a great point yeah it's just important it shows like that communication to have that communication mm -hmm. there even you know as early on in your coaching is you know before it gets there um, so important, you know. Yeah, I just, I just thought he would know. I was like, he's gonna right. it. I like it. <laughs> and it's fun, and mm -hmm. like, he did not. Wait, know can you see? Can you see how happy I am? It's you know. Yeah. No. That's why I'm doing it. Not the money. But I really want him to come to Summit because he likes it when he gets included in the background in these little meetings that we do. Like one time something came up about motorcycles because Kent loves motorcycles and he overheard Greg say something in the background about motorcycles and now he's always wanting Greg to <laughs> <laughs> Greg's got a new bestie? Yeah. <laughs> Does he have a motorcycle? He, yeah. We can have some meet on motorcycles. It's all cool. Right? <laughs> That's awesome, Jennifer. Thanks. Kathy? Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. okay. um, uh, my husband, uh, he actually he used to be an active coach, and um, so he has the business. And um, uh, he's actually very supportive, and he, he knows how much this means to me. And um, now the monthly Shakeology that I, I have to be persuasive on that one. Um, sometimes, but um, because of the, the the cost, but um, he he's great. Uh, he's very supportive, so, and he really understands the business. Yeah, and having been like having that knowledge, I think he's been a coach, so he understands it a little bit. What's going on, and been a challenger. Yeah, he was, um, I, uh, I met him first, Andy, and then, uh, then you joined the group. Uh, he became a coach, and then, then, then you became a coach. Um, and I love that you guys are now working out together, uh, posting those, those pictures in our group of you guys rocking well, out. I, he wasn't able to do it with me today. Um, the, his work schedule, uh, he's doing nothing but – Sleeping and working, and it's ugh. So. But I'm getting back. <laughs> well, he'll come around. He'll come around. He's gonna come around. Armando. <laughs> hey guys. So my wife is really supportive. Um, I think she got on board. I told her to. Um, a few months after I signed up as a coach, um, just to build the business. Um, what? Am I pausing? What? Is my internet? Is it? No, you're good. I'm good. You're good. Okay. Right. So, um, 
she's been she was active in the beginning and then we had some um health concern and uh trying to get her back on um because of her work um has been a challenge but uh, she understands how the business works um she's doesn't know exactly how the income comes along yet because the cycle bonus and you know all that stuff confuses her um but i'm working on getting her into connecting with her employees um and her friends to do like a girl little group um especially now with the clean week um so i'm working with her to show her um how the setting up the events and a group um setup is and uh not waiting for people to come to her she's got to reach out to them so uh she's not a pushy person which i'm not either but i like to enforce it of how important this is yeah but i mean it's going well she's she's still there she she likes to work out with me to make fun of me and be angry at me and <laughs> that gives her motivation so i just i just take it whatever um but she does have a hard time because of her workload um it's a lot there's a lot of times that she has to sleep just because she works you know 13 14 hour shift um so we just work with whatever she could do if a day she misses then you know we'll catch up another time but i i always do my workout it's like i can't be without my workout because it's just i don't know it's a good feeling yeah Nice. Thanks, Armando. John? Hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Um, well, with me, uh, I was, you know, up front with my wife right from the beginning, and she, she was fine with it, so she said. But um, she really wasn't. She just kept uh, getting up very upset with the time I was spending. I mean, I always worked out and, you know, followed crazy diets and used protein shakes, so that was nothing new. It was just the time I was spending on, you know, on the business side of it. So, uh, you know, when I, you know, we had a little heart to heart and just came to uh, an agreement on, you know, me constantly being on the phone, you know, so I, you know, I kind of set my time aside for business, time aside for family and found a happy medium. So we're, we're cool there. But as far as, she, I mean, she won't drink psychology. She's I'm trying to get it. She wants to lose weight. It's funny because she'll, she'll respond to my Facebook <laughs> <laughs> and ask for help and I'm like well <laughs> and I'm like yeah every time I try to get you to so but, um, so um, we're working on it so we're going to try to do a workout together or something but you know my schedule and her schedule as far as finding time where we can do that is a little tight but well I'll maybe uh, clean week get her into clean week right we have that group starting and it's for beginners you know that's true I didn't even think of that I was trying because I was trying. To, I was thinking about the the couples when it was coming out. Yeah, I took that. That's, I didn't even. Yeah, great yeah. idea. Yeah, I mean, prep week is this week. Just get her into it, and she might like it. Yeah, I mean, she'll be happy that she, you know she does want to exercise stuff. But I, I with Shake you know, she. <laughs> it's, you know, it's funny. The funny thing is, you know, I'm drinking it constantly. I have it all. It's all in my house, and um, her friend, a friend of hers, is is up using it, and. But she loves it, and she's telling me how she's talking to my wife about it. My wife's asking her questions about it, and you know, like, and I'm like, yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> she's, she's like, oh yeah, I want to try. She, you know, so she said your friend tells you so that she's great, and but it, my, my words no good, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is. It's That's just funny. Cool. So her friend will probably get her on it before I do. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Well, hopefully you've already signed her up as a coach, so she can't sign up with, with her friend. Oh, no, she's already, she, I signed her up, I didn't even ask her. <laughs> Tom makes his post about Shakeology, and then she's commenting, hey, can you send me more information? <laughs> well, other than that, in the groups, like, I, I, she, she joined, like, um, you know, I have, like, the low-carb groups and all these, she joined the groups, and I, you know, I, I'll post something about, you know, interested in learning more, and then and, and she'll, she'll reply. <laughs> Let's talk about it over dinner tonight. You know? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, get get her to summit. You know, make sure you know you get her a ticket for summit. And she'll be completely drinking the Kool Aid by then. You know, or afterwards. Yeah, working on it. I'm working on it. All right. Great. Uh, John. Oh. 
How's it going? Hey, John. Yeah. So um, my wife is supportive. She actually does an MLM with uh, a makeup company, so she understands how it works. So doesn't mind the time I spend working out or the money that I spend on supplements or Shakeology. <clears throat> what she does mind, and I've spoke about this in my smaller groups, is the influx of messaging I get from females. So. Mm. And by messaging, I mean nude pictures. <laughs> so <laughs> that is probably the biggest obstacle. Obviously, I don't go into detail about what I get because a lot of it's through Snapchat. But um, I'll get I'll get a message like you need to get on Snapchat. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> I know I never get any of that. <laughs> We're doing something wrong. <laughs> Need a separate training call, John. Just for yeah, you need to oh, uh, need for your Advertise this for guys. Your Snapchat, Snapchat training. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it's it's. And listen, if I was single, Carl would probably sit me down and kick me out of Beachbody. Like that's no joke. <laughs> it's, it's, it's that ridiculous. Mm. So, I get a lot of messages like, "Hey, I." I'm working out. What do you think about this? Like one girl in particular was like, Hey, I've been doing 21 day fix and I'm not seeing a change in my ass. Do you have any advice? And I'm like, well, you know, what are you doing? What day are you on? And then she sends me a picture of her ass and I'm like, Oh, well, I really don't know what it looked like beforehand. And then she sent me like a before picture. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> You know, or, or one girl was like, yeah, I had a baby. I have, you know, I have some, you know, some stretch marks. Blah, blah. And next thing I know, she's sending me like a full body picture. And I mean, so, but a lot of these girls sign up for accounts. But then, you know, once they start sending me these pictures and I'm like, well, you know, I'm married. They go and transfer to another person. And then they go to back. So, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's, well, so that's kind of where I'm at. Obviously, I, you know, the disconnect is obviously I don't tell my wife, like I tell her these girls are messaging me, but I don't get into what I'm getting. And <laughs> really she can't figure out what, why I'm not converting. I, you know, I convert a couple of sales here and there, but not like I should be. And I think a lot of it is because I don't even understand like why these girls jump <laughs> like they do. Greg, can you do like the next meeting on uh, single male coaches? <laughs> um, John can learn how to recruit single male coaches. He can go through the dilemma. He's yeah. also a big dilemma here. <laughs> so I'm in a, I'm in a, um, I, I do, I do dental. So I'm in a okay. 98% dominated female workforce okay so the group that we're in <coughs> we do once a month we do a snapchat saturday so everybody puts on their snap codes and everybody becomes friends with everybody on there so so one saturday a month i get two to three hundred friends through snapchat so i i post my my shakeology picture you know like every morning and then from there like I'll get some messages and then next thing I know I'm getting pictures. So of course my wife, like if I leave my phone unlocked, my wife goes to pick it up and she's like, Oh, what's going on with Snapchat? And I'm like, oh, please don't be anything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you ever when you mentioned that your wife she's doing another uh, MLM? Do you guys ever um, work together with that? Like like do you like get with her clients, um, talk about Beachbody, and then maybe have a night where she gets with your customers to talk about makeup. We've, kind of. we've talked, and actually in the very beginning, we actually had a joint um, business page, but then it, I think it said like, if you are a two-star diamond, like they really don't want that. So I separated our, our businesses early on. Um, you know, I always joke that I was going to get these, I was going to get heavy girl skinny and then she would get them pre pretty with makeup. So that was always the joke as far as, uh, you know, I always called us like the beauty and fitness power couple, you know? 
So um, we've, we have talked about those things, but we've never done anything joint. Um, I've offered to, <laughs> what's funny is I've actually offered to, because she's always like, she sees how many friends I add because of these groups. And I've offered to do calls with her teens on how to add friends. And um, I, like I said, ultimately, I think she's just pissed off because of how many girls I add to my, <laughs> to my, my groups. You know, fa between Facebook and Snapchat, it's, it, it's crazy. And it's, it, there's no, um, what do I want to say here as far as a uh, demographic? I mean, it's 20 to 50 is my demographic of these females. So what time do you want to do this call? 10 o'clock? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, hey, John, make sure she doesn't see this recording. Oh, right. Hey. A pretty yeah. smile. Pretty smile, nice ass, and great makeup, I guess, right? But Jillian, if you would send some pictures back, you might get more customers and coaching. I know, it's true. I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, the, the bad, I, I don't know what to say. I, I really don't because it's just, it, it just, I'm dumbfounded by the whole situation because, like, the guys I run with, when I tell them these stories, they were like, you got to be kidding me. Like, they're like, I got to get on Snapchat. <laughs> Sign them up as coaches. Get them on Snapchat. Yeah, yeah. So uh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll start doing some Snapchat training for you know single guys. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Thanks, John. Jean. You're welcome. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> um, my husband's pretty supportive, um, especially with the calls and with my exercising and the, you know my workouts and stuff. He, I've tried to get him to try Shakeology. He won't. Um, I've tried to have him work out with me. He won't. Maybe eventually he'll work out with me, but because he needs it, it's just as much as I do. Um, and as far as the business, I haven't really worked it that hard right now because I really don't have a story. I'm not losing weight like I should because I'm not working out enough. I'm not doing my nutrition. Um, and I know I need to work on that. Um, I guess that's it. <laughs> well, well, there for you, that's your story. You do have a story. Everybody I have a story. Yeah, that's your story right there. You're, 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 you know, that's what you're doing. You're, you're working out. You're doing your Shakeology. Um, you want this to work. You're struggling with it. You know, that's, that's your story. And people are going to be attracted to that. People are going to connect with you with that. Yeah, you're just in chapter okay. one. You're, you're in chapter yeah. one right now. You're just yeah. beginning. And so um, just get it started. Make a timeline of it and and go from there. What Are you doing a program in, in particular? Is there any program you're doing? Right now I'm doing Clean Week. Okay. And I'm almost at the end, end of it. It's, I love it. Okay. Hey, Which, that's I mean, do you have a suggestion what I should do next? I was thinking the P90, but I haven't really looked at the other ones. I've done um, the 21 day fix. Mm -hmm. uh, Get with Samara. She'll, okay. Um, a couple of them, um, you know, if time, I, would not, I wouldn't go to P90. No? Mm -mm. Okay. No. Uh, maybe P90X3. Okay. That that might be one um, T twenty five, but there's there's a lot out there. Um, as far as Shakeology and your husband, don't even tell him. Sneak it to him. Make make one of those awesome shakes with yep. chocolate, you know, banana, peanut butter, you know, ice. Boom! Tell him it's a milk. He'll drink it and be like, "Wow, this thing is amazing." After he finishes, okay. then you tell him you just had Shakeology. <laughs> Okay. Brian's, Brian's strawberry cheesecake or cherry cheesecake. Or cake strawberry yeah. cheesecake. Or that the, sounds good. So mm -hmm. good. Because he loves strawberry, so. Oh, there yeah. You go. Oh, yeah. So good. You know, you can make like a strawberry pina colada with it also. Something fun. Oh, there you go. 
something light. Yep. Without the rock. Bartender. Listen to the bartender. <laughs> Listen to the bartender. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks, Jean. Thank you. Go. Yeah. Shows on mute. Ah, there you go. There you are. Uh, you know, <laughs> my wife. I guess she's kind of supportive, but we're we're two totally different people. Um, I'm the fitness geek, and she likes to smoke cigarettes. So, <laughs> um, and I've been trying to get her to quit smoking for years and years, but um, you know, it's not. Uh, she's just not ready for it. Uh, she talks fitness. She wants to work out some days. Then she works out and it hurts too much afterwards. So that just goes by the wayside. But um, honestly, I signed her up because for me, my wife is a really huge people person. And she, she loves talking to people. And I'm hoping that I can give her enough information and get her head kind of wrapped around it a little bit so that when she's out talking to people, she's saying, oh, you know what? My husband does this, and you know what? You should give him a call and, and talk to him, and he might be able to guide you in the right path and, and do it that way. Uh, I mean, she used to – she's done a lot of multi-level marketing stuff. She's done Zango. She's done Party Light. She's done Pampered Chef, all kinds of stuff. And um, – you know, she's just never stuck with them because she didn't see any results. And so the funny thing is I'm kind of like uh, <clears throat> Armando and Tom. I just signed her up, right? I didn't tell her. I told her after the fact. And, um, you know, she was she didn't like it at first. But I just said, you know what, honey, It's that's for me to grow my business. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of everything else. I mean, I do enough jobs that I make a little bit of extra money. So she understands like it's okay for me to spend the money on the Shakeology and the supplements. Cause I have that little bit of extra income. So, I mean, she is supportive. I'd like to see her like me personally, I'd like to see her get herself into shape because I think, if she started on that path, she would probably enjoy it a little bit more. And with that, it would probably make me a little bit more successful uh, in the long run, but I don't push her. Yeah. Um, I mean, in the end, I love her. She's my wife. And uh, you know what? Um, like I said, we're two totally different people. And if we don't have an argument at least once a week, something's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. And uh, I'll just end with, hey, John, I'm jealous. I wish I had your problems. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's too funny. Joe, I'm thinking maybe your wife should talk to Tom's wife's friend. And maybe they could put her on that might be a good idea, actually. <laughs> okay, Polly. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I don't have John's problem, that's for sure. <laughs> would you like it? <laughs> no, because that would be the end. <laughs> no. Um, uh, no, I, I, I actually have uh, pretty much the same deal sounds like the same deal some of the, most of the other guys do. My wife supports it. She's on board as far as, you know, she's a control coach, and that's about it. So that's where that's where it pretty much goes from there. She went to one summit, and then the second one she didn't go to because her parents came to visit, and I don't know what's going on with the next one just yet, but we'll see. That's okay. <laughs> You know, as long as she's fine with what you're doing. Well, she's fine with what I'm doing because it's making a difference for me. So okay. that's the uh, that's the important part. And, you know, without this, regardless of whether I'm making money or not, it's going to, I mean, if I didn't have it, I'd it'd fall apart and I'd be the end of it. So I'd be start, probably start heading right back down the same road I was on before. And 
Uh, that's not where we want to go. So here I am. Yeah, I was, some of those videos, the spouses were just really against it and they're sabotaging and, you know, so I think we're all in a pretty good boat here. <laughs> yeah, I think we are. We're pretty lucky we have supportive, supportive partners overall and Hilda's, you know, she's taking care of her, so. <laughs> as long as we stay away from Snapchat, we'll be fine. <laughs> Snapchat, yeah. <laughs> I, I I can't I can't say I've seen some weird Snapchat things pop up from people I don't know, and I'm just like, I don't know who that is, and I just ignore it. But it's like, hmm, nothing. <laughs> but Aaron still have a Snapchat account? She did. No, I'm kidding. Ten year old. Yikes. But look up John's Snapchat address. No, I'm <laughs> you said from how old? No, she's only eleven now, so up to fifty. What? Twenty. Dude, that's that's crazy though, buddy. That's crazy. So I, got, I gotta tell you, okay, John. Before I work for what I do now, which I sell natural foods, I work for a local dairy. So I was a milkman, and all my buddies were like, "Dude, you're a milkman." <laughs> You get a lot of, those are only in the really bad movies, okay? It's not like that. So all my buddies thought, oh, right on, bro. Milkman. Yeah. Well, maybe if John was the milkman, I don't know. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you, Jill and Louis. Thanks, everybody. For sharing and everybody for attending. And we'll we'll wrap up. All right. And uh, so I won't be here next week, but somebody will be leading. So uh, I just got to figure out who who's on the schedule. <laughs>